Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be covering a type of skin cancer called melanoma, which can arise on the palm, soles, or even under the nail. This is called an acral lentiginous melanoma. In the next few minutes, we'll cover what it is, who gets it, causes, tests, management, and finally, prognosis. So first of all, what is an acral lentiginous melanoma? Well, an acral lentiginous melanoma, or an ALM, is a type of melanoma arising on the palms or soles or underneath the nail. If it's underneath the nail, it's called a subungual melanoma. Typically, it's more common on the feet than on the hands. Acral lentiginous melanoma usually starts as a slowly enlarging flat patch of discoloured skin. At first, the malignant cells remain within the tissue of origin, i.e. they are in situ in the epidermis. However, acral lentiginous melanoma becomes invasive when the melanoma cells cross the basement membrane of the epidermis and malignant cells enter the dermis. Typical signs of acral lentiginous melanoma include the following. So tan, black or brown streaks on the nail, pigmentation of the nail folds, or areas of dark pigmentation on the palms of hands or soles of the feet. So who gets an acral lentiginous melanoma? Well, although they're rare in people with light skin, so Fitzpatrick skin types one and two, it's the most common subtype in people with darker skins. Acral lentiginous melanoma is equally common in males and females. The majority arise in people over the age of 40. Importantly, the causes or cause of acral lentiginous melanoma is unknown, and unlike other types of melanoma, it's not related to sun exposure. So what tests should be done? So if you see your doctor or the dermatologist, they might use an instrument called a dermatoscope, which is essentially a powerful magnifying glass, which can be really helpful in distinguishing acral lentiginous melanoma from other skin lesions. The most frequently observed dermatoscopic features of acral lentiginous melanoma, which you can see on screen here, are asymmetrical, meaning uneven structures and colours, parallel ridge patterns and pigment distribution, and blue-grey structures within the lesion itself. If the skin lesion is suspicious of an ALM, it is best to cut it out, which is known as an excision biopsy. Biopsies of the lesion suspicious for acral lentiginous melanoma should remove a long ellipse of skin, or there should be several biopsies taken from multiple sites, as a single site could miss a malignant focus. Once the biopsy is taken, it will then be sent to a lab to be assessed by a pathologist. The pathologist's report should include a macroscopic description of the specimen and melanoma, and a microscopic description. The report may also include comments about the cell type, its growth pattern, invasion of blood vessels or nerves, inflammatory response regression, and whether there's an associated nevus. So that's an original mole. So moving on now to just have a quick discussion around the treatment for acral lentiginous melanoma, because I'm sure you'll probably be interested in this. Well, the initial treatment of a primary melanoma is to cut it out. The lesion should be completely excised with around a two to three millimeter margin of healthy tissue. Further treatment depends mainly on how big the lesion is and whether or not it has spread. Further treatment might involve radiotherapy or potential removal of lymph nodes if the melanoma has spread distantly. Immunotherapy, biologics and BRAF inhibitors are showing promise to more complex cases. And these are a more specialist type or subgroup of treatments that you could discuss further with the specialist doctor. Finally, what's the outlook? Well, acral lentiginous melanoma in situ is not dangerous. It only potentially becomes life-threatening if an invasive melanoma develops within it. The risk of spread from invasive melanoma depends on several factors, but the main one is the thickness of the melanoma, known as a Breslow's thickness at the time it was surgically removed. So in conclusion, remember to check your skin regularly. If you notice any new or enlarging or different colored or bleeding lesions on the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet, or in the nail beds, then please go see your nearest healthcare provider or doctor who can check this out. Hope you found the video useful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And please go check out other videos on the channel, especially under the Dermatology playlist. I'm sure there'll be lots there for you to find. And until next time, bye. Thank you.